drive your course back on the workbench However, today's uh, video we've got a nice evening job making a drill sharpening gauge for larger drills. So quite a while ago I saw a video by Watch Wears Works where he showed his design for this uh, drill sharpening gauge which I thought was a great idea so I decided to make one. He made his in plastic 3D printed I'm making mine in aluminium. So let's get cracking. So I found this bit of scrap aluminium which is um, about 100 millimeters long, 20 millimeters thick, 50 millimeters wide. So I've squared this up on the shaping machine and I drilled and tapped two blind holes for these two studs so I could bolt this to an angle plate from behind. I've marked out the center line. I'm going to put a groove in, well, a V groove in here. Uh, 30 millimeters wide so this will be the angle of the drill point so a drill point standard drill point is 118 degrees so anyway that's what we're going to do so I've got an angle plate an adjustable angle plate I've put in a, a reference bar which is parallel to the top surface of the angle plate so it should be nice nicely uh, set up <coughs> So that just drops on there. We'll put a couple of nuts behind. First we need to get the angle plate set up on the horizontal now. Okay, so we're all set to go. So I'm just going to eyeball this, but I've marked out where I want to be with the cutter to take out this uh, segment here. So we'll see how we get on. We're in gear. Yep. Okay, then this will be the uh, finishing cut for this side. I think we can take a bit more off actually. zero back 
knock that off let's see ten thousand Backed it off 10 thou to need a finishing cut of 10 thou. So we should be able to do this in just one rough and cut, one finishing cut. Looking good. So yeah, that looks pretty good. There is a slight undercut at the bottom there, but it's nothing to worry about. Lovely surface finish. Okay, so I just need to remove these studs and uh, cut a piece off here. Which I'll do on the bandsaw, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, that's it uh, split in two. So I squared up the ends on the milling machine. And I put a recess in this one, which becomes part of a viewing window. So that has to go together like that. So I think I'll initially uh, just glue those together. When I'm sure I won't make any more modifications, I'll put a couple of pins in. Okay, so I've got it on the uh, hot plate and I've got some hot glue sheet between the mating surfaces. And because it can move around as the glue melts, um, I've got some blocks around it just to keep it in place. I'll put one at the front as well. So we'll turn that on. Yeah, that's cooled off now. Whoops. Looks good. So obviously you'd normally hold this up to the light, but to make it easier for filming, I've got a light box here. So I've just got this placed on the light box. So this is a 25mm drill, which I've just picked up off the rack. See what it's like. So straight away you can see the angles are different and the center point of the grinding is off center so not that good so 
so straight away with that one you can see the angles are pretty good but the flute lengths are different so I've got some sharpening to do so yeah I think that's a neat idea from watch wears work um, good design aluminium is quite reflective so if it was anodized black it might be better I don't know I think for the bigger diameter drills this uh, length should have been longer maybe another couple of inches would have been good but it's not that often sharpened drills anyway so I think we'll stick with it and uh, yeah good good addition to the workshop